Welcome to Vancouver Island Regional Libraries Filmora Training. Episode 5. Adjust audio levels, remove background noise, add music. We're going to start with the simple things on audio and then move into things that are a little bit more complicated. The first thing I want to show is how to remove audio from a clip, like you might want to do with something that's sped up. Our sped up clips don't actually have very much audio, as you can see here. But we'll show how to remove it regardless. The simplest way to do it is to select the clip, right click with the mouse, select detach audio, then make sure just the clip on the audio line of the timeline is selected and press delete on your keyboard and it's gone and you can remove audio at any time so if that's at the very beginning when you know you don't want things or if it's closer to the end or middle when you decide that you want to change things up or replace different audio totally up to you if you have an audio clip that's completely separate from a video clip like a voiceover, you want to make sure that it's added to the media files and then bring it down to the timeline like you would a video clip. So we've got our audio clip here and we've already brought it down to the audio line of our timeline here. So again it'll be on a completely separate audio line and it's only really recommended to use a voiceover when you don't have a talking head as it can make it a bit harder to match the audio with the mouth movements. You can either record a voiceover using an external microphone, or you can come up here to the record, record voiceover in Filmora, and make your voiceover there. You could use your computer audio or another microphone for that. You might also notice that there's background noise in your video clip. There is a very simple fix to this. So we are going to come here to and double click on our clip. Come on up here to audio and select remove background noise. You can set it to weak, mid, or strong, depending on how much background noise there is in the clip. We also see options to fade our clip in and out. Another solution to fading audio in and out is we're gonna come down here and hover over our clip and we can kind of see these little white li little lines that are on the ends of our clip. So if you were to move that along, you're gonna see this little shaded area and that's gonna indicate that we're gonna fade in. So we're going to reset that. And then if we were to come up to the fade in and out, we would move the slider along. But because I pretty much think that it's okay for now, I don't feel like I need to fade in and out our clip at the moment. I'm going to leave it as it is. And what I'm going to do for this clip, because we used a microphone, I don't really need to remove background noise. So I'm going to unselect that for now and press OK. You may need to adjust the background noise for all of your clips. You could also do this before you cut a single clip into smaller clips. Just as with color correction, we can't apply the setting to multiple selected clips or carry it over onto other clips the exact same. A really big thing that I want to do here is reduce and increase some of my audio levels. This will help make the sound a little bit more even. There could be clips or moments in your audio where it's too loud and jarring or it's too quiet. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here to my first clip. You can kind of see the audio line here, but not very much as, as you can in there. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see that a little bit more clearly. It's still pretty low. And because it's low throughout the clip, I want to adjust all of the audio. 
So if I wanted to adjust all of the audio in a clip, I can come here to the volume line on the clip with this little hand, and I'm going to click, hold, and drag it up to a level that seems like it might be a little bit more appropriate. Another way to do this is double click it. And if we were to play, these are all the things we're going to need for our wintertime suet spread. We can see the audio changing over here. So you, you could also move this audio line up and down. So this is a decibel line of how high we want it. That would be another option for changing it. One thing to note while you're adjusting audio, you never want these bars to show up in the red. If they're green or yellow, they're usually loud enough. I'm going to minimize that a bit more. And I have the same thing, so if I want to reduce it, I'm going to come over here. I can see that the decibel level on this clip here is pretty high. So if we were to play it, it's a little louder than I like. So again, I'm going to click, hold, and drag, and bring that down a little bit more like this. So let's try that again. That's a little bit better. I'll probably play around to get the right setting. You might also want to just improve a little bit of the noise in a clip. So it could be sections that are a little too loud or a little too quiet. So this is where it's really important to be able to zoom in on the audio on your clip. We'll use our first clip as an example of how to do this. So first we're going to um, choose a rough spot, maybe in the middle here, of where we're actually going to adjust just a portion of the audio. And what we're going to do is insert keyframes. So at the point where we, just before where we want to increase or decrease the level, we are going to press and hold the Alt key on our keyboard. And then we're going to come here to the volume line and click with our mouse. So you see that creates a little dot. And then roughly beside this point, we're going to again hold Alt and, and click again so that we get a second dot. And then we're going to say maybe around here. So we want maybe this section here to be louder or quieter we're going to insert another two keyframes. Pressing Alt on the keyboard, we click on the volume line, and we're going to click there. And now we can click, hold, and drag that line up and down as much as we want. And so that will allow just a portion of our clip to have the audio changed. You won't be pressing Alt while you're holding that, of course. You might need to run through your project a few times to nail down those little specific points of where you need to make it louder or quieter, uh, just to get it right. So I'll make that a bit smaller so we can see our whole project. We'll go ahead and close this for the moment. If you're editing a program such as a craft, walking tour, or demonstration, music can help set the mood. So over here in the audio tab, we've got lots of music to choose from. So we can go to included or choose from a kind of subset. And I'd like something that's a little bit more bright and cheery for this one. Music really helps set the tone. So make sure to match the music with the anticipated mood of the video. If you want something to bring spirits up, you want something pretty cheery. If you want something to just 
make things feel calm, you'll probably want something in more low key. You might also have to look for a few different options before you get the right one. So let's take a look at some of these. We'll double click. Not bad. Or Again, that's pretty good. It's a nice up and walking pace. I think I like that quite a bit. It makes it kind of a walking pace to keep us going through. So I think I'll choose this one. So this will be a completely separate audio line on our project because we wanted to cover the entire length of the project. So we'll click, hold, and drag it over to this line here, and we'll get it to start at the beginning of our first clip. Depending on the length of the audio track, like we have here, you might have to repeat it through your project. So what we can do is click, hold, and drag, and bring it down so it snaps right close. And again like that. And then we'll make sure this ends roughly at the end of where our clip is there. Other clips just match the entire length of things. So you might not have to do this at all. And what we'll do, we'll kind of see that when we play it, the audio track is going to compete a little bit with the audio in our video. It's quite a bit louder, the audio. So we'll have to make adjustments to the audio, similar to what we did for increasing and decreasing our video track. So if you just want the entire clip to be a little bit quieter, you can click, hold, and drag it right down and see how that sounds. We're also gonna need something to add our right on. It's still a little bit loud for me, so we'll make those adjustments afterwards. If there's sections where you want the music to be a little bit louder, for example, with our sped up clips, you can put in more keyframes. So as we can see here, where we have this little bit here that is sped up, I could put in keyframes there and there and make that section just a little bit louder so that when we do come to this section, I'm not worried about the competing audio. I just want the music to be a little bit louder. If you want to open and close the audio track with fading, you can do the same thing where we come here and see this little white line and move that down like that. And then that'll fade it in really easy. If that's not enough for you, you can also put in more keyframes to make it a little bit more of a nuanced or sharper fade in if you need it. If you want it to drop right off the map, then for example, if we come here where we want it to be pretty sharp and we'll come here and maybe I want it and maybe I want it to kind of be kind of like this. So I could move that and then keep moving down like that. If I want it to be a little bit more, a little bit different than, if I want it to slowly get quieter over time. Maybe I want that to be a little bit more noticeable. So I want it to kind of ease down. That's something you could do as well. Once we're happy with all the way that our audio and our video looks, we're gonna be ready for the next step, adding in titles and elements.